welcome to the spooky edition of Edmund's Collectible World. Today I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing the 13 Days of Halloween Spooky Suki gift set. Now this is a return of one of our favorite Dynamite Girls. I've missed the Dynamite Girls line so much. So it's so exciting to see our favorite Spooky Suki come back. This is the shipper for the 13 Days of Halloween Spooky Suki Fashion Doll Gift Set, an IT Direct exclusive. So let's get the shipper open. And let's see. And we have our box in tissue paper. Very cool. Let's see if we can just get this off of here. Now this is supposed to be a glow in the dark box. So I wonder if it works. So let's see if it does. Let's turn out the lights. So as you can see, it actually does indeed glow in the dark here. It does look like, yeah. So I probably would need to hold it up probably to some light a little bit more. But as you can see, it does actually glow in the dark. Very cool. So back to looking at the box here. As you see, it says Spooky Suki, the 13 Days of Halloween limited edition collectible doll. On the side, it says the same thing. And then on the back, it's got the, ooh, scary eyes, which means, ooh, don't choke on your doll as it has the warning there. And also the information for the Integrity Toys website. So this looks like it's just an easy to open lid box. So I'm just gonna open that. And voila, ooh, look, and in the inside, we've got more of the spooky eyes, but more importantly, we've got our Suki doll, and let's go in on her. Oh, I've missed her so much. I really do miss the Dynamite Girls line a lot. It was so much fun, and it's so nice to see Suki back. As you know, Suki has seen several Halloween Spooky Suki type of dolls in the past, and this is the newest in the bunch. Absolutely cool. I'm going to scroll down so that you can see. Look at that colorful top. It is so wow. I will say that in the promo pictures, it did not look as vibrant as it does here and it, as you can see 13 she's the final unlock for the box really cool so i'm gonna pull back so that you can see all the little doors and all the numbers here now the way this works this is called the treats not tricks box and it is 13 days before her favorite spooky evening of the year open a door each day and start building a special wardrobe for Suki. so we would go through one per day with this doll so what should we do okay so mars attack is right i really should do this video a little bit differently than i normally do so since this is an advent calendar i'm actually going to go through the items in order that we're supposed to in the day so we'll just pretend every number a day has passed thank you mars attack <laughs> so in the spirit of spooky suki i've decided to put on my eerie edmund rings so let's get started with these so we're going to start with box number one or door number one and ooh, looks like we've got some jewelry here and let's take a closer look and you can see it's yeah it's a set of hair clips and some some earrings and some sunglasses. I'll take these out of the plastic a little bit later, but I do want to show you what we're getting. So that brings us to door number two. And in door number two, we get an extra pair of hands. So you can see it's the grip hands here. So let's see, for door number three, we get, hmm, what is this? It's, it's kind of big. Ah, 
and it looks like it's some sort of black piece. It looks like accessories, a belt, or so. Ah, I think it's a pair of shorts. Yes, it's a pair of black shorts. Awesome. All right, so let's see. Door number four. I think I saw something glowing in there. And it looks like we have a pair of boots. So as you can see, it's a black boot with neon uh, shoelaces. Very, very cool. All right, so that brings us then to door number five. And in five we have, hmm, I see something light colored. But looks like it's, oh, it's like, is it a couple of some things in here? Looks like it's a couple of things in door number five. Interesting. Ah, it looks like it is a pair of socks. And then also it looks like it is some stockings or something like that. Very cool. All right. That brings us to the eerie eyes of door number six. And hmm. I'm, mm, all right, there we go. Hmm, interesting. I'm gonna see if we can pull this out. I'm trying to get it out without tearing the box because it's so cute. Alon went through so much trouble to design it. I wanna try to keep its integrity. Ooh, and look, this purple, like kind of like a mini baby doll kind of dress. Of course, I'll take this out of the plastic later and we'll do a 360 with it. But very, very cute. Okay, so we have another set of eerie eyes in door number seven. So little strings not sticking out, so I kind of have to pull. Ah, there we go. Ah, it's a pair of limbs in here, <laughs> which is so funny. You know, for doll collectors, this is normal, but for if normal people, well, not really normal, but with non-collectors, excuse me, heard me say, oh, look, a pair of limbs. <laughs> they would look at me sideways and maybe call the police. So here we have a pair of the lower legs with the flat foot, which tells me we've got a pair of flat foot shoes in this set as we got those boots in one of the other doors. So let's go to door number eight and see if I can pull this string. And hmm, that looks like it's something interesting in here. Let's see, it's black. And what is this? It is, ah, it is like a leather black hat or something like that. Like a little beret, I believe it is. Really cool. All right, so we'll see this later during the 360. That brings us to door number nine. I'm just going to ah, put my finger in there. And pull. Ah, this is what I was looking for right here. It is the pair of tennis shoes that go with the flat foot very very cool all right that brings us to door number 10 and in 10 we looks like it's something glowing in here i'm gonna pull this out and we've got hmm try to do this carefully i don't want to rip but this thing is really big inside here whatever it is and Aha! It looks like it is some sort of... Oh, it's that uh, midriff shirt or blouse that comes with this doll that I think I saw in the promo pictures. It looks like it has longer sleeves. Of course, we'll look at this during the 360, but very cool. So that brings us to door number 11. And let's see if I can... Oh, this little string is really small. And we've got, ah, jewelry it looks like. And let's see if I can pull this out. Aha, ooh, this is really nice, fancy kind of jewelry I'm seeing here. And it looks like we've got a pair of earrings and maybe it's like a charm bracelet or something like that. I'll take a closer look at that during the 360, but very nice looking jewelry here. And that brings us to 
door number 12, which is the final door in this box. And that is, hmm, oh, it is the little black bat purse. Look at that. That is really super cute. And of course, that leaves us with lock or door number 13, which is our spooky Suki. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna remove her from this liner, because I have a feeling I'm gonna have to take this box apart in order to remove her, so that we could take a closer look at Spooky Suki. So this is a close-up of 13 days of Halloween Spooky Suki gift set. And as you can see, this is the Suki 3.0 head sculpt. Her skin tone is listed as Japan, and her hair color is listed as Platinum. I also want you to see, look at the applied lashes there. Very, very pretty, and you can see the hair cells. It's got that crimped look to it. I'm gonna go in so that you can really see the screening, just how lovely it really is. It's very, very pretty. Look at that nose. Such a cute nose. Oh, I'm such a huge fan of the Suki sculpt. So glad to see one of our Dynamite Girls back. I'm hoping that we'll see others later on. But anyway, I'm going to pull back so that you can see what she looks like when she came out of the box. And she came wearing this bodysuit right here. And it's really cute and bright. And you can also see she's got the plastic on her hands, I guess, just to make sure that it protects from staining. So it's just something that you might want to uh, keep an eye out for. Let's go back here and you can see, it looks like it's the latches that come on and off for the back of the bodysuit. And I'm just gonna kind of go around and take a look at this bodysuit. This is so cool and so colorful and vibrant. And I love a bodysuit. I love when it's just not like a blouse. Absolutely. And you can see the front and it has a high collar as well. Very, very cool. I'm gonna pull back again because I do want to mention that her body type is the Industry 1.0 body. So she's not on the Dynamite Girl body, which is awesome. This is a taller body, the Industry 1.0 body. Also, I should mention that she does have the high-heeled feet, but remember, she does come with an extra set of feet, which are the flat feet, which they call the articulated angle. So we'll show you those in just a minute. So I could not find my certificate of authenticity in the box. So I do want to mention that the edition size is 1500 Also, when I first saw this set, I was thinking, I don't know if I want to pay what, $175 or so for this set. But then I looked at all of the items. This is a list of all of the accessories and items that you get with this set. You may want to pause the video just to read them all. We will see them. I would like to welcome our panel to our special Spooky Dynamite Girls edition of the panel. First, we have fan favorite Dynamite Girl Rufus Blue. Next, we have one of the original Dynamite Girls, Aria. And last but never least, actress, model, singer, Alyssa Rodriguez. So Alyssa, I know this is the spooky edition, but uh, you came in costume, I'm thinking? I don't know, you have a note for me. And you say, I thought I would come in costume as the Puerto Rican Blanche Devereaux from the Golden Girls. <laughs> So all I can say is thank you for being a friend. <laughs> so let's do our first 360 of the 13 Days of Halloween Spooky Suki gift set. So there are a lot of details that we need to look at with this first look 
for Spooky Suki. This was a very different look for a lot of Integrity toys of their style for dolls. So this is really a very interesting look for this doll. I'm gonna go in so that we can see some of the detail. Of course, you see she's got her glasses on and the black beret. I do have it affixed with a pin in the back and the pin did actually come with the doll. You can see also the top comes on and off with Velcro, which is kind of interesting. I didn't expect that. Also, you can see the stitching that is on the sweater. It's very cool. Also, you can't really see the dripping uh, earrings as well, but I did show you them when we first took a look at them. Also, you can see the double-sided belt, or the, I'm sorry, the dual belt and the shorts and also the spider web stockings that come with this doll. Also, look at these shoes, these high heel boots with the neon uh, laces. Very, very cool. One thing I do have to point out is that I did not have to untie the doll in order to put the shoes on. I just, I just wiggled them on and they actually came on. So it was very nice. Also, I want to point out this bat purse with the micro chain. Very cute, very cute. Also, you can see some of the detail of the belt here as well. I wanted you to be able to see some of the stitching that's on the blouse. I think it's super cute. Also, look at this bracelet. I love that little red, like it's kind of like a blood red on the bracelet. It's very, very cute. And once again, the belts. You can see the latches in the back for the shorts. And <laughs> really pretty stockings. And that is the 360 for the first look for Spooky Suki, 13 Days of Halloween. Let's do a 360 of the second look for the 13 Days of Halloween Spooky Suki gift set. So this is a completely different look for Suki, as you can see, and it's still fun and still kind of has that Halloween kind of theme to it. would like for you to see the dress from all sides. It's a really cute pinafore dress. And let's go in and see, of course, the, the alternate jewelry. Also, obviously, we've got the hair clips and the skull earrings. Also, there is a necklace and this ruffle on the dress. There's so much to see here with this doll. I'm going to wait for her to come back around. Look at that. Oh. So you can see the hair clips and of course the jewelry there with the little skulls and she's so pretty and just I just love this hair and this haircut it's so what was that show with the teenage witch Sabrina the teenage witch so reminds me of her and then of course you can see the shoes this is with the, also with the alternate feet and the socks that came with it and I did not have to untie them in order to put them on also of course there is that bat purse which i love so much with that chain and you can see the back of the dress oops it looks like i need to pin that up a little bit more and you can see also the flowers and all that that i mean it's just so vibrant and just so fun this blouse it's absolutely so much to look at and i love that you could probably use this as separates and everything as well. I'm gonna go back down to these shoes. Just such cool detail. I also should point out the jewelry detail. She's got the little chains around her wrists there. And then of course, there is also the charm bracelet as well with the little skull charms. Very, very cute. And that is the 360 for the second look for the 13 Days of Halloween Spooky Suki gift set. I should also mention that this gift set does come with a display stand, and as you can see, it does have Spooky Suki's name on the display stand. And another thing is that it glows in the dark. And as you can see very faintly, it does glow in the dark, but not as brightly 
as the spooky Sugi that's actually behind her in the box. Okay, panel, I would like to get your thoughts on the 13 Days of Halloween Spooky Sugi gift set. Rufus, I'm going to start with you, and I see that you have a note for me. And you say, she looks spooktacular. Aww. I agree with you. She looks great. And Aria, I see that you have a note, and you say your note is for everybody. Hmm. And you say, let Integrity Toys know you want a Dynamite Girls reboot. Well, as you ladies may remember, the Dynamite Girls were incorporated into the industry line a few years ago, so maybe we'll see a resurgence. And Blanche, I see you have a note for me. And you say, anyone know how to get to the rusty anchor? <laughs> I must say, it's great to see the Dynamite Girls together again. <clears throat> And you too, Blanche. <laughs> All right, well, thank you, panel. <laughs> so the 13 Days of Halloween with Spooky Suki gift set is absolutely adorable and a lot of fun. Now, of course, a lot of more patient collectors may follow waiting on the 13 days and actually opening one item at a time to enjoy. But some people, like me, may want to just open up and take a look. And what I really love about this set, number one, it's so great to see one of our favorite Dynamite Girls return. But number two, it's also really cool to see a lot of the mix and match pieces with this outfit. When I first saw the gift set, I was like, eh, I don't know how I feel about it all together. But I really see, although it's fun together, I see a lot of really fun separates. So this set is a lot of fun. And I hope we see more of the Dynamite Girls in the future. If you like this video, and I hope that you did, then please make sure that you click the like button. That's how I know that you like my videos. Also, if you have not yet subscribed, then please make sure that you do that today. There's a button somewhere down there. You press that button, and then you'll get notified of when I come up with new videos just like this one. So thanks again for watching, and I hope you have a great and spooky day.